Hello and welcome to Anatomy with Dr. P. In this lab, we'll be learning about the three kinds of muscle tissue found in the human body. The slide we're currently looking at is a longitudinal section of skeletal muscle. In lecture, we learned that skeletal muscle is considered voluntary because it usually doesn't contract unless it receives a signal from a somatic motor neuron. Skeletal muscle attaches to the bones of the skeleton and lets you produce voluntary movements. Let's zoom in so we can get a better look at the cells that make up skeletal muscle tissue. As we zoom in, notice how the cells are long and cylindrical. Multiple nuclei can be found along the edges of each cell. We can also see these alternating bands of light and dark sections. We refer to these alternating bands as striations. This striated appearance is due to the repeating sarcomeres of the myofibrils inside the muscle cell. Our next type of muscle tissue is called cardiac muscle tissue. This slide shows a longitudinal section of cardiac muscle from the middle layer of the heart. Cardiac muscle is involuntary and is used to pump blood inside the heart. Let's zoom in so we can get a better view of our cardiac myocytes. So we're zooming in here, get nice and close so we can see everything. The first thing that we notice is that cardiac muscle cells are connected to one another by specialized junctions called intercalated discs. Intercalated discs appear as these very thick, dark lines that sit between the cardiac muscle cells. These structures contain gap junctions that allow electrical signals to pass rapidly from one cell to the next. This is what allows the heart to contract as a unit. We can also see that the cells of cardiac muscle are short and they're branched, so they split, unlike our skeletal muscle fibers. We can also see that each cell only contains one or two nuclei. Like skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle has striations due to repeated sarcomeres. That's these little stripes that we see along the length of the cell. Our last type of muscle tissue is called smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is involuntary and forms the walls of blood vessels and most organs. It pushes food through the gastrointestinal tract, moves urine through the urinary system, controls the flow of blood to different regions of the body, and regulates airflow inside the respiratory system. Let's zoom in on a longitudinal section of smooth muscle so we can get a better idea of how these cells look. So here we can see a longitudinal section of smooth muscle. Notice how the cells of smooth muscle are very short and fusiform. Fusiform is just a fancy way of saying that they're thick in the middle and then that they taper off as we get to the ends. Each smooth muscle cell contains a single nucleus. Smooth muscle tissue gets its name from the fact that there aren't any striations. We don't see a striped pattern like we did with skeletal muscle or cardiac muscle. This makes the cells appear smooth. 